Hi everyone and welcome back to Gridiron and Grace. I am so excited about today's video because it is going to be my first fall video um, of the year and I'm so excited to bring you along for all the fun content for fall. And fall is definitely one of my favorite times of the year. It's my favorite season and as much as I love Christmas, I think that fall decor probably is my favorite and um, has my heart and I just don't think one can have too many pumpkins. I know I definitely feel that way about myself. Um, so I'm so excited to kick off this fall season. And today's video, I am just kind of going to be talking to you about some of my um, fall plans, especially, you know, when it comes to decorating and kind of what I'm wanting my vision to be for fall this year. I definitely have um, collected many fall decor items throughout the years and I actually did a pretty big purge last year and got rid of some items that I no longer used um, and you know always good to make room for new things. So I'm going to share with you today some of my favorite fall decor pieces that I have um, collected over the years and also some new pieces that I have recently gotten. I am going to have some fall shop with me and haul videos coming very soon and so uh, some of the decor I'm going to wait until I go shopping at the store that I'm taking you along with to show you what I purchased from there um, but I want to share with you some of my new pieces that I have gotten and um, just kind of tell you some, what some of my plans are for decorating this year. One of the reasons that I'm so excited about today's video is I am going to get to share a company with you that has some of the most beautiful home decor and seasonal decor pieces that I have ever seen and especially ever owned. Um, and the company's name is The Round Top Collection. And I'm going to have their website linked down below so you can um, browse their website and see all of the things that they have to offer. Truly beautiful decor pieces and I'm so excited to share them with you. They also have a discount code uh, for my viewers and it is GRACE25 and you are going to be able to get 25% off of your entire purchase for the next 48 hours. So from the time this video goes live, that code is good for 48 hours and you're gonna get 25% off your entire purchase. It just can't be combined with any other promo codes. Um, so I can't wait to share with you the pieces that I um, have gotten from this company. And I'm also gonna have a link down below the specific items that I purchase in case you see anything that you just love and can't live without and you want to purchase that specific item. I'm gonna leave that down below in my description box as well, what the name of it is on their website so you can search it that way. I think their backstory of how their company got started is so sweet. So definitely check out and read their story on their website um, when you go check it out. But I, they do sell to thousands of retailers um, and they have a store location tab on their website if you want to search and see what stores you know that they have um, close to your area. I know that they have five stores in the Houston, Texas area if you're from um, there or close to there. Um, and they do also sell online. So I'm going to have their link down below in my description box to their website as well as the specific items that I purchased. So definitely go check them out. I just cannot um, explain to you how well their products are and they were beautiful online. Um, but when I got them, and got to hold them and look at them in person, they were even better than I could have imagined. So I'm so excited to share those with you, so we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, so the first piece that I'm gonna share with you is this pretty green color pumpkin, and the paint job and detail of these items are just incredible. But I think my favorite thing about all of these items is it comes with multiple different ways to style them. So I'm gonna flip it around right here and show you. This one can be used as an easel, or it can be hung if you chose to hang it up. I think I am planning to use it as an easel, but I love that it gives you multiple different options for ways to display them. Um, you know, if you decided, well, this year I wanna try to hang it, but then I wanna maybe put it in a different place and see if I can use it as an easel. And a lot of them actually come with options to stake it as well. And I have some of those and I'll show those to you in a moment too. But this is the first one that I wanna show you. And like I said, just the quality and detail of these items are so, so nice and it doesn't even do it justice on camera. But I love how these little things are right here and it's just so, so realistic. So this is the first item that I got. And to go with this one, I also picked out a white cream pumpkin and it's just like that one except it is a little bit bigger. 
and it has the same detail right here, the different metal pieces, and they're not attached. Like I said, they just look so realistic. I love this pumpkin, and it's the same way on the back. It also has an option to have it, you know, displayed as an easel, or you can hang it. So I just think that these two together are gonna be so pretty wherever I decide to use them in my home. Kind of show you what they look like together. Um, and just, just beautiful pieces. The next one, I actually found it right after I found those, but this set of three pumpkins, and it has that same pretty green and white color, but also has the little orange one, and they're all connected. And this is one, um, like I was sharing with you, has an option to hang, easel, or stake. If you can see it right there. And I'll show you what it comes with in case you wanted to use it. It comes with these. So it just screws into the little stake thing on the back and you can stake it in the ground outside or like in a flower pot or something if you would choose to do that. So I love the different options that it gives you to be able to display these pieces. So this is this piece. I just think they're so pretty and I love that they each have their own little stems and these are like metal as well so they're not going to bend or break. Okay, I have two more pumpkins that I want to share with you and these are keeping in theme with the colors that I have going on, but look how precious this is with the little bees. And this is metal as well. So like they're not gonna, you know, swing back and forth or get hung on things. They are secured in place. This is another one that gives you the option to hang, easel, or stake in the ground. And I just love that all of the different ways that these can be displayed if you choose to. And it also has the little metal stem at the top. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like up close. Love this one. And to go with that one, I also picked up the white version and it is a little bit taller, um, but it's the same, you know, display kind of like the other one has the little beads and I just love that they are on metal as well. Whenever I saw them on the website, um, I fell in love with them, but I didn't know, you know, it, I, I just assumed these would just kind of swing back and forth, but they are metal as well. So just great, great quality. It has just the pretty detail of the stem and the leaves. And it's the same way. It also gives you option to use it as an easel, hang it, or stake it. So just how cute these are together. And the white one is taller and um, more slender than the green one. I just think these are gonna be so cute paired together wherever I decide to place them. Okay, the next pieces are these taper candle holder set. So this one is like on a stand and the pumpkin, you know, of course is made out of metal as well as the stems. And it also has a place where you could put a taper candle if you choose to. And then it also comes with one that sits. But look how precious those are. I think these are going to be so cute on my mantle. I think that's where I want to try to put these, but they're just so, so precious. And like I said, the detail and quality of these are just unbelievable. Okay, and I have one more piece to share with you, and it is this wreath. Um, of course, you know, it's made out of metal, but what I really liked about this is it has this piece right here. So you could even hang something from here. You could tie a bow on it. Um, just so many different ideas running through my head on how I can style this. So I love this. I actually was looking for a fall wreath at a few of the stores that I went to. Um, but I just think that sometimes if it's like artificial flowers or things like that, you know, they get bent or worn looking very easily. Um, that I just, how wonderful would it be to have a metal sign? You don't have to worry about it getting damaged or messed up. So I just think this is absolutely beautiful. So I'll give you another close up of it. And it has the option to hang it on the back as well as stake it. So this one has both of those options too. So those are the items that I chose from the Round Top collection. And I want to thank them again so much for partnering with me. 
on today's video and I'm so, so very excited to share their company with you and I could not recommend their products enough. Their customer service also is absolutely wonderful. They're very quick to respond and answer any questions that you may have um, and I really, truly cannot recommend this company to you enough. So please go check them out. Um, like I said, I'm going to leave their website down below in my description box and a link. So just click on that link and it'll take you straight to their website. And my code GRACE25 is going to be active for 48 hours. And I know a lot of their fall things are already selling out or low in stock. So definitely go check them out if you are in the market for some new, wonderful fall decor pieces. Thank you again to Round Top Collection for partnering with me on today's video. So like I shared earlier, decorating for fall is one of my favorite times of the year. Um, I definitely have my collection um, built up of pumpkins and I just seem to get more every year. I think they just make some really pretty ones these days and all different shapes and styles and colors. Um, so I love to go out every year and just pick up a few more to add to my collection. I can't wait to add um, my new ones from the Round Top collection into my fall decor. But I do wanna share with you some of my other home decor pieces that I've collected over the years. My favorites, um, I guess this is kinda gonna be like my unboxing fall decor video as well, but I'm not going to share every decor piece that I have for fall because we would be here for a long time. So I just wanna share with you some of my favorites that I've gotten over the years and kinda tell you um, how I plan to style them this year. Uh, if you can tell from the items that I share with you from the Round Top collection, I'm really wanting to lean towards whites, oranges, and that pretty green color. I have other colors um, as well, like I do have some gray and galvanized pieces as well as wooden textured. Um, so I will include those as well too, but I really want my focus to be on those three colors for that to be like my main color group. So I'm just gonna share with you some of my favorites, like I said, that I've gotten over the years. And if I remember where I got them from, I'll tell you that as well. Um, and just know that this is not all of my fall decorations because like I said, we would be here all day if I went through all of my fall things and shared that with you. So make sure you're subscribed so that you can join me for all of my decorating videos that I have coming up very soon. And um, like I said, there would definitely be more decor that I put out than what I'm going to show you today. So I'm just going to kind of like start. I wish you could see the floor around me. I have pumpkins everywhere in my lap on the floor to the sides of me, just all over this extra bedroom. I'm like bumping into them right now. Um, but the first ones that I want to share with you are some of these that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I actually think that I picked up one or two of these like for several trips until I got all of them. But it is this set of pumpkins that looks like this. And there's another one if I can get it in my hand. And I just think these are so precious. I like to display these together. I usually display them in my hutch. But these are some of my favorite little pumpkins that I have. And it has that pretty orange color um, that I want to make sure that I'm pulling in a lot this year, as well as wooden and brown colors, texture, that kind of thing. Okay, some of my other pumpkins, and I actually got these not long after me and my husband got married from a local furniture shop that also sells home decor. They're actually not even open anymore, but these are some of my favorites to pull out every year, and it's these two wooden pumpkins, like twine pumpkins is kind of what it looks like. Um, but I just think they're so cute and they're some of my favorites to pull out every year as well. I do also like to pull in some galvanized looking pumpkins and things. This set I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago and I always like to display it. And to go with that, I usually put this one close by and I think they complement each other. I got this one as Hobby Lobby as well. And I like the beaded detail on this and it's just that pretty galvanized color, but it also has some of that brown copper color in it as well. I'm not gonna go through all of my like little pumpkins, but I have an entire bag or two full of like velvet pumpkins, white pumpkins, just the small miniature ones that I've gotten from Target and Hobby Lobby over the years. I like to use them in multiple different spaces as like filler spots, filler pumpkins. 
Um, I'm not going to show all those to you, but just know that I have lots of those as well. And I also have several that are like this size. And I like to get, even though I kind of gravitate toward the same colors, I like to get ones that are like a different styles just to kind of um, change it up a little bit. So I'm just going to show you a few of little ones that I have. Um, and I have multiple ones that are kind of that size. Here's one that's like that pretty bluish green color that I like to share. Um, I have this one, which is more of a greenish color, but it was one that um, I got not long after me and Kenny got married from a local shop that's um, also not open anymore. So it's one of my favorite little ones to pull out every year too. I also like sets of pumpkins, sets of three, like I shared with you, those pumpkins that, you know, there's a tall, short, and a um, middle-sized one, but I also have this. I think I got this last year from Hobby Lobby, um, that set of three, and this is that pretty color, you know, that green color, and it also has the orange and the white, so this kind of just pulls all those three colors together, but I like this set a lot, too. This next pumpkin is one of my favorites. Um, and it was one that I looked at for several years before I bought it, but it's this pumpkin pie and I'm sure you've seen it before at Hobby Lobby. Um, but I love this pumpkin and if I ever wanted to not display, you know, the pumpkin pie, this is just a nice size white pumpkin and it looks cute by itself, but I always like to turn it this way. Fun fact, I actually don't really like pumpkin pie. Um, but I think that it's really cute, the recipe on there. So I always like to display this one too. I also have a selection of um, like bigger metal pumpkins and I always like to group them together as kind of like a pumpkin patch but just with metal pumpkins and my plan is to um, display them with some of my new metal pumpkins from the Round Top collection so I'm excited to see all that come together. But I'm just going to share with you some of the ones that I've gotten over the years. All of these came from Hobby Lobby so I have this pretty gray one and I love the little leaf detail on the top of this one and I also have this orange one and it has the pretty green leaves on the top of it and it's a pretty nice size too so I always like to display those together um, I'm so excited now that I have like all these out and looking at them I'm so ready to start decorating but I'm like trying to hold off just a little bit longer um, but it definitely coming soon and I also I think I got this last year from TJ Maxx and it's this galvanized bucket that says pumpkin patch and this was only $14.99 so I thought that was a good deal whenever I picked this up but I think I took one of those metal pumpkins and had it like draping out of this last year um, because I have like bags stuffed in there so I know that I put something in there to elevate it um, but this is one that I like to incorporate and mix in with my metal pumpkins. Okay, and this is another one that I got from that local furniture home decor store um, in my area that's not in, open anymore. But this is one of my favorite pieces to pull out every year. It's this pretty rusted metal pumpkin and I love the little stem on it and it is pretty tall. Um, but I love this one and I've had it displayed many ways over the years throughout my home is always one of my favorite ones to pull out and use to decorate. I also like to decorate with um, a lot of different little signs. This one's probably my favorite little sign and I got it from Kirkland several years ago but it just says Farm Fresh Pumpkins 50 cents and I don't know if you can tell but it does have that orange and green and cream color all on this sign so that's always one of my favorite ones um, to pull out and I just think it's so cute. This little sign is um, very simple but it's always one of my favorite ones to pull out too. It just says fall sweet fall and I got it from Hobby Lobby. I also like to pull this out every year. It is um, a picture frame in the shape of a pumpkin and I just have a picture of me and my husband. Sorry you can see the glare of the camera but um, it just has a picture of me and my husband on our wedding day. Um, and I think this thing's really sweet, just a cute little um, decor piece, but also a little bit of, you know, sentimental to be able to put a picture in it. And this came from Hobby Lobby. This next piece is not a sign, but it's one of my favorites. And I actually don't know if I have seen it at Hobby Lobby the last year or two. They may have something similar or, you know, in, in a different style, but it's this pretty little blue truck and it has 
apples in the back of it. I know I've seen a red one and a green one um, that are, you know, a little different style, but I haven't seen this one in the last year or two. Um, I could have just missed it, but I haven't seen it. But this is one of my favorite pieces too, and I just think it's really sweet. I got this one in 2018, that's what it says on the back, um, and I like to pull it out every year. I just think it has a lot of detail to it, and I love the little blue truck. This little sign I usually put somewhere close to my coffee bar, and the truck on here is a little different and darker blue than I usually use, but I just think this little sign is so cute. It says pumpkin spice season, and it doesn't have a tag on it, but I think I got it from TJ Maxx or Home Goods or somewhere like that. But I think that one's cute and I like to put it at my coffee bar. Okay, this is a door hanger and it says give thanks and has little pumpkins in the truck. And it's another one of those blue trucks. And I think it's so cute. I always like to hang this on my door or um, I'm not sure where I'm going to put it this year. Sometimes I put things on my pantry door. Um, because it has like, you know, a middle thing, whereas our front doors have the window panes going down the middle and you can't really hang anything on them. So I don't know where I'm going to put this one yet, but I'll definitely find a place for it because it's so cute to me. Okay, I have two more signs I'm going to share with you. And um, again, just know that's not all of my signs. I'm just picking some of my favorites to share in this video. This is my Auburn Farmer, Auburn Autumn. I'm sorry, we are Auburn fans, but this says Autumn Farmer's Market. And I think it's so cute. I got him from Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have a tag on it, but I'm pretty sure that's where I got it a few years ago. And then also this one that says Autumn Acres Pumpkin Patch. And I always like to put this with a group of pumpkins and this came from Hobby Lobby as well. And I just think it's a really nice size sign and I like to pull it out too. Okay, I have just a couple more things that I want to share with you. Um, something in the past that I haven't decorated a lot with at fall time are florals, like fall florals and picks. And that's something that I definitely want to um, incorporate more of this year. Um, I did have this one from Target. I think I got it last year. And it does have more of like a plum color, but I think that color is really pretty to mix in with the other colors that I use as my main ones, and it's in this pretty copper. Um, so I did use that last year, and I picked up a few new ones that I'm going to share with you in different videos, but I also picked this up from Dirt Cheap. I shared that in a video this summer, um, but I am planning to take some other florals or leaves and put them in here. I take the top off. I actually got these from Dirt Cheap, but this stuff was originally from Target. I thought it would be pretty in this little canister and kind of pull in some of that orange color that I like. And I also picked these up from Dirt Cheap, but they were originally from Target too. I know that because this is this exact stem that's in this um, vase that I already got from there but I think this is a pretty good size bundle. And then I also picked these up and I thought that would be pretty to kind of, um, I mean, obviously I'll have to cut them apart and mix them together, but I think that color is really pretty. And I definitely have vases and things that I can um, add to that. And I think just, you know, a little vase with a little floral in it and a little pumpkin sitting beside it would be so cute. So that's gonna be all that I'm gonna share with you today. Um, like I said, this was not all of my fall decor. Um, this was just some of my favorite pieces from each category that I like to decorate with. And I'll definitely be sharing with you when I decorate my other decor pieces and where I've gotten them and all of that. So um, definitely be on the lookout for my upcoming decorating videos. This is going up on Thursday, August the 17th, and I'm actually going to have a video go up tomorrow as well on the 18th. I know that Friday is not my normal posting day, um, but it's going to be my first fall decorating video, and um, it's going to be with some friends. So I'm excited to share that with you, and I'm also going to be using some of my new pieces from the Round Top collection to decorate with in that video. 
um, and because I want you to be able to see how it's displayed whenever my code is still active. Um, so it just kind of all worked out that way. So definitely tune in tomorrow because I'm going to be styling an area of my home that I'm excited about. And just make sure you're subscribed for all of the fall videos coming your way. It's going to be you know, just kind of a mixture of things, definitely decorating, but I'm also going to be taking you to some stores and sharing with you some of the new decor pieces that I got. None of this other than the round top collection um, is new. These are all items that I've had before, but I have definitely picked up more pumpkins already. Um, so I will be sharing those with you too whenever I share my shop with me in hauls for fall. So I have lots of uh, ideas in my head of some different videos that I wanna share this season. So definitely make sure you're subscribed. And if you hit that bell notification, it will um, send you um, a notification, an email, you know, however you watch YouTube on your phone, it'll give you a notification that I have posted a new video so you don't miss out on all of the fun things coming. Definitely go check out the Round Top Collection. Um, I truly cannot recommend them enough to you, and you will be so impressed with the quality of these items. So definitely recommend checking them out and use my code GRACE25 so you can get 25% off your whole order. That code is good for 48 hours. So definitely go check them out. Thank you again to the Round Top Collection for partnering with me today. And I hope that you all have a very blessed day and are excited about this upcoming fall season. I know I am, and I can't wait to share it all with you. Have a great day, and I will see you in the very next one. Bye.